Okay, so I'm here in the Porter Ranch area. Porter Ranch is, I believe, the wealthiest city in the San Fernando Valley, or one of the top wealthiest cities. I'm not sure. Uh, Calabasas is technically, I guess, Ventura County. But anyhow, Porter Ranch is one of the wealthier cities, so I'm up here in the mountain area, and I wanted to show you all what some of the properties look like. So just gonna do a quick little drive-through tour of the area for you all to let you see kind of what this beautiful city looks like uh, we're gonna take a look at all the different all the different properties here and just give it a look and see just kind of give you guys a tour of uh, this area so this is Porter Ranch uh, it's right up here next to a very large Best Buy there's also a large uh, Walmart here that's in the area uh, there's a big Whole Foods as well um, it's known for a kind of a more luxurious lifestyle up here one of the things though you have to be careful with up here is coyotes because you're up here in the mountain area the coyotes do come down and i feel bad for them you know as people keep building and building up into the mountains you know they take away the natural habitat for these wild animals and at the end of the day you know wild animals are just trying to survive too so if you have a dog or a cat and they eat it uh it's sad but they're just trying to survive. They don't see it as any different as you eating a hamburger. It's just, it's a meal and they're just trying to make ends meet, so to speak. So let's take a look at all the different areas here and see what we got. These are the beautiful areas here. Got lots of beautiful homes up here in this area. Some of the homes are really, really luxurious too. Like they're really, really nice. We'll see which ones, uh, see which ones we can get a look at today here. But this is uh, Porter Ranch. So as you can see here, I'm gonna show you all, there's lots of uh, mountain area up here as you can see. So this is why, you know, these homes get a lot of these coyotes. As you can see here, we're way up here in the mountain area. And you can kind of see here, it's very dry. Um, you have all this land. And then as you come up here, you start hitting the luxury homes. And this is why coyotes come down because they literally live up in those hills. And then they come down. See, like, look, this is a prime example of an easy meal. Uh, somebody's cat is just walking across the street, and a coyote would catch a cat like that fairly easily. Uh, cat's kind of fat. Um, yeah, it'd be an easy, easy meal, and they set them up. So it'd be an easy. A coyote is basically a dog that's more agile that can jump fences and climb. So if you think about it like that, they're like, they're basically wild dogs. Okay, so let's continue to take a look at the beautiful properties here. Um, and there's always seems to be constant building in this area too. They're always adding new things to this area. But yeah, as you can tell here, these are very, very beautiful homes. And I'll just kind of take you all through a drive-through tour of the area. You can take a look and see all the different beautiful properties here in Porter Ranch.
up here, you can kind of get a view of uh, a lot of the Porter Ranch area here. You can kind of see that. Let's see what other nice homes we've got around here to take a look at and see. Very dry area, that's the thing about this. This is a very, very dry area. So yeah, so those were some of the nicer homes in Porter Ranch. As you come up here, you hit a city called Northridge, California. sure it looks reminds me of the scooby-doo van so i kind of want to see what what the front of it looks like and what they're promoting because it kind of kind of stands out looks kind of unique guy his car ran out of gas here i know the feeling be safe buddy and it's happened to me many times ran out of gas not paying attention didn't check my oil easy mistake easy easy mistake so as we continue on here ah wow they're even getting food vendors out here it's amazing how the california market has changed so much with food vendors just popping up everywhere um these vendors just set up shops now and before it used to be kind of in a little more rough neighborhoods, but now you're noticing these vendors are starting to just pop up pretty much everywhere. Uh, and it's kind of changed the landscape. But over here you have what's called Northridge Park. This is a beautiful park, countless, countless basketball games played here when I was a youth, when that's all I had to look forward to in life, playing basketball and working out. Those were some those were some good days now that I look back in my mid 30s. I was like, wow, you know what? I had a good life back then just playing basketball and working out. You don't realize how good life is when you're younger until you're older and you have responsibility. You're like, wow, you know what? My life was relatively, uh, my life was relatively uh, chill. 
So you got some guys here. These guys are serious basketball players playing out in the heat. Uh, this guy's even got gloves on, probably to work on his uh, probably to work on his dribbling. If you can dribble with gloves, you can dribble regularly. But yeah, you guys got you've got people out here playing basketball. There's a big park here, a big pool. So obviously, with this pool area, you're gonna get a lot of people that come here to come swimming when it's when it's this hot. People come swimming. So that's something you can kind of see there. It's a large pool area. Got some lifeguards out. Uh, public pool. Um, let's see what else do we got in this area here. Try to show you all what else we've got going here. big college campus not far from here Goodwill here. Have a very large campus. This is a uh, CSUN is up here, Cal State University of Northridge. I don't know if school's even in right now. Maybe they're on summer break. Let's take a look and see. This is CSUN right here, California State University of Northridge.
building here a lot, so I'm wondering what they're building 